When I was little, I was under the impression that school uniforms looked really cool and super stylish. Until I started wearing them. If you're unlucky enough to get one you don't like, then tough luck because you're stuck wearing the exact same thing to school every single day for the next few years. I'm not sure if this is a common thing, but my uniforms were always very uncomfortable. And compared to the ones from other countries, they looked... sad. Yeah, let's go with that. Quick side note, I've changed schools a lot. I went to two different primary schools, two different middle schools, and two different high schools. I'm saying this because I realized that the Caitlyn uniform timeline can get a bit confusing. My first middle school had a bunch of rules against hair. This probably had to do with the fact that the staff consisted of a bunch of grumpy old-minded people who thought we were still living in the Victorian era. For the girls, letting your hair down was a big no-no. The guidance counselor even had a pack of those cheap crummy hair ties in her office in case of an emergency. I never trusted you. And we were only allowed to have like three hairstyles. Only braids, buns, and tied up hair were accepted. As for the boys, they weren't allowed to have long hair. And by long hair, I don't mean hot overpowered anime boy with better hair than I could ever have. I mean literally any hair that was over two inches. I've never heard of any other schools that do this. Which is a good thing. I understand the reasoning behind clothes, but I don't think schools should even be allowed to have a say in what your hair looks like. Mostly because not everyone looks good with their hair up, Sandra! Yeah, don't let my gotcha character fool you. I had to look like I was wearing a pineapple attached to the side of my head. Middle school number two had this uniform. And the problem with this was that it was white. I want to know who thought this was a good idea. Which genius out there took a look at a bunch of kids and went, Yeah, let's slap some white clothes on them. That surely won't go wrong. That uniform never stayed clean for more than two days. My mom got so used to me spilling something on it that she had a specific bucket just for washing it. But along with the questionable uniform design, this school had the most ridiculous rule I've ever heard of. You see this jacket? My mom bought it for me on my birthday and it's been my favorite jacket ever since. I wear it all the time and I wear it everywhere. One day the principal walked over while I was enjoying my third chocolate milk of the day and said, that's not allowed. There's a limit for chocolate milk? No, not that, that. Apparently in that school. Tying your jacket around your waist was against the rules. What? Why though? Because it's the rules. Yeah, but why? We don't allow it here. Okay, but why? Because it's part of the dress code. You're not answering my question! To this day, I still don't know why it was a rule. You might think I'm overreacting or something, but here's the worst part. Since everyone knew about this rule, whenever a girl did have their jacket around their waist, it would feel like the equivalent of holding a megaphone and announcing to the entire school that Mother Nature decided to pay you an unexpected visit that day. And in a school full of uneducated, immature teenage boys, I bet you can tell how that might have gone. This was messed up on another level. I hated that rule. I never followed it. I even got threatened to be sent to the principal's office five times, but it never happened because, like... What are they gonna tell my parents? Hello sir, your daughter is in violation of the school dress code. What? That doesn't sound like her. What did she do? She wore her jacket around her waist. <laughs> hey honey! What? Your daughter violated the dress code! What? She wore her jacket around her waist! <laughs> My old high school had uniforms too, but I never got one. I found a way to cheat the system. I told them that I was gonna leave for Canada, but didn't know exactly when, so they said that it's okay for me to not buy the uniform as long as I wore something consistent, which wasn't a problem at all since I wear the exact same thing every day. Everything was going great until one day, they decided to make some changes about the dress code. Oh, absolutely not. Natural colors and highlights were fine, but the school thought that unnatural hair colors were too distractive. Fortunately, I was good friends with the vice principal. He's a really cool guy and he supports my YouTube. And since he noticed that without my red hair, I wouldn't look exactly how I look in my videos, he let me keep it. But then the school thought it would be unfair to let only one student keep her colored hair, so they just completely let go of that rule. Which means that technically, I saved your hair. You're welcome. Ew, isn't that the gotcha kid? So what do I think about dress codes? I don't like them. Guys, I finally got my laptop. I am 
over the moon. Thank you so much for your support. I can finally post without waiting for like eight months. These videos take a lot of time to make, mostly because I'm the one drawing everything. So try to bear with me here. I'm gonna try to push my limit and see how quickly I can get the next video out, and hopefully I can squeeze it under three months this time. No promises though. Every time I announce that I'll be posting something on a specific date, I end up jinxing it. So yeah, no promises, but I will try my very best. By the way, did you notice the merch I had in the background? I'm gonna make a follow-up video talking about it later. Anyway, good luck with the new school year everyone. Work hard, but most importantly, take care of yourself.